Dad, under some things. Go for it. <laughs> I need a glow up to help me. I'll help you. Episode 12, Egg Inertia. For egg inertia, we're going to use a toilet paper roll, a hard-boiled egg, a glass of water, and a cutting board. The setup here is pretty straightforward. You're going to take your cutting board and place it over your glass right in the center. Uh, take your toilet paper roll and place it over the glass. And then lastly, place your egg sideways on top of your toilet paper roll. You do want it to be sideways because you don't want it to get stuck up there. And then Ready? you're going to very quickly hit the board from the side. And let's take a look. One, two, three. Pause here. As you can see, as I strike the board, the support for the egg is removed and the egg's inertia causes it to fall down into the glass of water. So in our last episode, we took a look at momentum with the ball bounce experiment. Today I thought we would look at inertia because a lot of people get these two things confused. Inertia is a property of matter by which it, the matter that is, resists change to its current motion. In this case, we're talking about the egg resisting change to motion. Uh, alternatively, you could think of it as a tendency of matter to remain in the state of motion that it is presently in. So if we take a look at our cup of water with our cutting board and toilet paper roll and egg, everything at the beginning is in equilibrium, meaning there is no motion going on. Now, as I quickly remove the support for the egg by striking the side of the cutting board, uh, gravity takes over and the egg is then dropped into the glass of water. The egg's inertia is resisting the motion sideways that the cutting board and also the cardboard tube uh, experience. Inertia is different from momentum in that all matter has it, while only matter in motion has momentum. So if you're feeling ambitious and you want to try this with more than one egg, uh, then you can do this with as many as you want, I suppose. I tried it here with three. And I definitely suggest using hard-boiled eggs. You can use raw eggs if you want. Can I please do the experiment? Yes, you can. Mom, Dad I can do the experiment with him. Pause here. So even if you don't realize it, you've probably seen this experiment before. Uh, the old pulling the tablecloth out from under all the dishes while the dishes remain there is an example. Or a safer and a little easier experiment is to place a coin on top of a playing card on top of a cup with water and then use your finger to flick the card out and the coin will actually drop into the water. You can also substitute the egg out for another small object of mass and use plastic cups if you're worried uh, about them falling over. I just used the glass one so that we could see what was going on there. A big thank you to our chickens, Phoebe, Yoshi, Climie, and Sandy for all the eggs in these experiments. And uh, also a big thanks to my family again for their help. I hope you have fun with the egg inertia experiment. Let me know how it goes.